Hi, this is Stacy Strader, Container Investigator, and today we're asking, what's in the box? What box? A bread box? A cereal box? No, none of those. We are talking about a shipping container. These are the boxes you see every day on trucks, trains, or ocean vessels. Almost everything you own, from this pillow, to your clothes, to your food, to your phone, travels by container. There are between five to six million containers crossing the ocean at any given time. Use of the container made shipping products cheaper and by doing so, changed the shape of the world economy. For example, raw materials like cotton get shipped to other countries where they are used by local workers in a factory to make clothes and that creates jobs. The finished product is then packed up and shipped, eventually making its way into the store for you to buy. Containers can be different sizes. They can be 20, 40, or 53 feet long. Terminals here at the Port of Oakland can work vessels that have 14,000 containers stacked on just one ship. The Port of Oakland moves over 99% of the containerized goods that come through Northern California. About 76% of the port's trade is with Asia, 14% with Europe, 5% with Australia, New Zealand, and Oceania, and 5% with other foreign economies. So what's actually in these containers? Through my investigation, I learned that here at the Port of Oakland, the top imports, that's goods brought in from countries like China, Vietnam, and Australia, are furniture, bedding, and cushions, beverages, spirits, and vinegars, glass and glassware, and machinery. The port's top export, or goods that are shipped from the U.S. to countries like the Philippines, Japan, and Italy, is wood pulp. What is wood pulp, you ask? Excellent question. It is wood that has been ground to a fine pulp for use in making newsprint, paper, and hardboard. Wood pulp goes to other countries like China and returns to us as paper or furniture. Other top exports are edible fruits and nuts, including grapes and almonds. Fun fact. The state of California produces nearly half of U.S. grown fruits, nuts, and vegetables, and over $3 billion worth of these American products are bought by customers in overseas markets. Meat and fish, beverages, spirits, and vinegar. In 2014 alone, the port moved the equivalent of 2,394,069 containers. That's a record for the Port of Oakland. Even though containers are mainly used for shipping, they are also being used for other purposes. People use them to build houses, emergency shelters, self-contained gardens, and even a Starbucks store. There's no limit to what's in the box. I'm Stacy Strader, Container Investigator, signing off.